as you know, I'm struggling with my weight and I'm trying my best to get back on track and eating clean. And um, if you missed those videos, please do go back, you know, a few months and see what's going on so that you'll know. And um, basically, I, I fell into that sugar addiction. And um, sugar addiction is the same as any drug. It truly is. And it's really hard to um, get back on track when you fall off that wagon. And I'm not, not knocking on wood. I'm knocking on um, <laughs> tile. <but laughs> knock on wood. Um, I'm doing really well with the sugar aspect. Um, still struggling a little bit with processed foods. And so um, I, I have an idea and something that worked for me when I first adopted the plant-based diet and so I'm going back to my roots so to speak and I thought with all of you that wrote in and said you were struggling too or you had struggled in the past and all the encouragement that I got I really that was heartfelt I really appreciate that so I want to tell you what I did in the beginning and what I'm doing now and basically it's it's my standby you know good old potatoes <laughs> So I'm doing like a potato reset and um, lots of research on this in case you were wondering. Um, this is just a plate. It's two big potatoes with some salsa on top and um, there's lots of ways that you can eat potatoes that make them interesting and filling. They're very filling. So um, that's the whole point. Um, Andrew Taylor ate nothing but potatoes for an entire year. He did that to overcome food addiction. And by his words, you know, make your food boring and your life interesting. Um, Dr. McDougall swears by potatoes. And um, Mary McDougall, his wife, has a version of this that's called Mary's Minis. And you can choose either sweet potatoes, white potatoes, or rice as your starch, and then you eat nothing but uh, non-starchy veg to go with it. So basically that's what I do, um, but I, I vary it a little bit in that I can have either sweet potatoes or white potatoes with non-starchy veg. So I'll still have broccoli, I'll still have cauliflower, I'll still have carrots, um, I'll still have onions and peppers and, and all of those things that I really like. Um, for this reset, you have to forego the beans and the rice and the bread and, um, you know, avocados and things like that are a no-no just during the reset. Um, you can follow Janine at the Potato Reset if you would like a group that um, for moral support and she's in Canada but she has a Facebook group and it's called Potato Reset and um, people will get together and they will say okay we're gonna do a reset from this day to this day and there might be a three day one or a seven day one however long it takes you to do it um, I like to do about 10 days 10 days is good for any um, changing of habit 10 days for me usually will do it so the basic premise of it is not just to lose weight quickly but to reset your palate so that you no longer crave those sugary processed foods <laughs> and so it's pretty you know pretty straightforward um, normally I will eat bread occasionally normally um, I will eat beans just about every day but some you know not every day but just about every day um, Dr. Gregor at nutritionfacts.org does recommend um, three servings of beans every day and beans will help you stay full and you know there's lots of lots of protein, lots of things in there that, that are really good for our bodies. But um, just during this reset, again, it's just to reset the palate to stop those cravings. And if you are addicted to food or certain types of food, then it's a good way to go. So it's what I did in the very beginning. Um, 
you know, I would fix dinner for my family back when they were still meat eaters, and they would have their dinner, and I'd be sitting with my plate of potatoes and salsa. And then, of course, I got my air fryer, and I love air fried potatoes, and I'll put, you know, mustard and hot sauce or uh, ketchup or barbecue sauce or, you know, you can even do steak sauce. Whatever your thing is, there's just so many different ways to eat potatoes. So that's what I'm doing to get back on track. Cross your fingers, guys. Wish me luck. Love y'all.